They are certainly working to figure out who that person is, but right now the fire department is trying to retrieve that body. As you can see right behind me, there is a line of fire engines right now blocking out the view of the public to make sure that no one sees anything gory. And tonight, investigators are trying to figure out if the person who died is the suspect in a chase earlier this week. Tonight, investigators focus their attention on this column at Winco Foods in Lancaster after a body was found inside the column. Earlier, customers were turned away after the store closed its door following the deadly discovery. My concern was everybody in the store okay. The person who died is not a store employee. The LA County Sheriff's Department says the store manager noticed a strong smell this morning, which he thought was a water leak. A plumber was called to check and a couple of the bricks were broken to look inside. When they did that, they looked down, they could see a shoe and a leg down there at the bottom of the column, inside the column. This comes after deputies tried to pull over the driver of this truck on Monday during a traffic stop. Henry Oliver says he saw the suspect running into the store after a short chase. He got out the car, ran in, ran up the steps where the managers be at, and somehow got on the roof, and uh, last I heard, he got away. The sheriff's department says deputies lost the suspect after he got on the roof, and they never saw him come out. But we're thinking this possibly could be that individual. Detectives say there's an access door at the top of the roof, which also goes to the front fascia of the store. Well, he may have gotten inside there and somehow gotten down the column trying to hide from the deputies and then couldn't get out. For shoppers like Constance Fullwood, it was a relief to know that none of the store workers that she considers friends is involved. It's very emotional because I shop here at least four times a month. And because we are dealing with a decomposing body, a hazardous material team is here as well, and it will be up to the coroner's office to positively ID that body. For now, we are reporting live in Lancaster. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.